Hey guys, welcome back to StarMade. This is Surge again. We are doing a little video. I'm going to show off a ship I've just completed for Atlas Mining, our server's faction that I'm playing on. As you can see, I've spawned in a bunch of Isens on a private server just, uh, just to see how this guy goes against the weakest of enemies. It's not a combat vessel, but as you can see, it does have enough to handle. I mean, Eisen's on a real threat, to be completely fair. Um, but there's an Alpha station up there, and it's been throwing missiles at that way every now and then. Uh, long story short, though, this thing is a miner. This is a both a salvager and a mother salvager, uh, so it's part of a fleet as well. Um, a little airlock there. As you can see, I got the turrets from um, my relay station, uh, but I've made them green. So I've got my little uh, AMS turrets there and my point defense laser turrets there. I've just recently built this little guy. It's a little uh, artillery cannon uh, with a nice little muzzle break, a little muzzle on the end of it. Let's see if he fires at something. Reset him. There you go. So, fires out there. I get, didn't get to see a flash, unfortunately. Um, so he's got about 50% pulse and explosive effect on that. There you go, a bit of a flash there. And uh, yeah, it's just designed to be a little tiny gun, not super, not super huge or powerful, uh, but easily enough to be mounted as a decent weapon to take out fighters. Uh, in the front here, you can see the big maw of the dredge, which I'm going to switch on. There we go. So up in the front here, you see the big maw. It's grinding teeth. Yeah. It's lovely grinding teeth. Uh, as far as it goes, the ship has no weapons. Uh, it's kind of not the point, though. Um, it's, a, it's a mining vessel. It does have a big salvage cannon. As you can see, it's an absolute asteroid devourer, um, which it can't really use while it's flying, because as you can see, the power keeps going down pretty fast. Um, and yeah, so that's that's just to pretty much eat the hell out of asteroids. Um, yeah, not much else to say about it, except that it's going to be the faction's um, primary um, Minor, I hope. I'm going to put this into our shipyard and hopefully more people create more of these because that's the idea. Hopefully, we'll get a bunch of people use this. And um, yeah, that's enough. Oh, and as you can see, you've got the pods on the side. Now, they have a little mining pods they can spit out. Uh, go mine a bunch of asteroids while you're AFK. And there you go. Anyway, I just thought I'd show this off, guys. Um, oh, I'll just quickly bring up the stats for you guys. So it's 142 meters long, uh, 59 high, 103 wide, if you, I guess, count the rail dockers. Um, <laughs> God, these Eisens are getting out of control. I must have attacked this station as well. Um, yeah, so it's got... 764k shields, um, 84,000 per second. It's not meant to be in combat. It really isn't. Um, so it's not got a lot of shields. In fact, I think all of this front part, actually, I think all of, yeah, all of that front part there, this sort of looks like it's been bolted on and, and for re good reason too, because the whole front part there, that's all salvage cannons. Um, there's a, quite a bit of interior too, like you can see. I'll have a quick squiz through there. As you can see, you come in here, you didn't see that. All these doors are automatic, uh, they accept that first one. It is automatic exit. Uh, but all these doors are automatic. And um, yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, there's little elevators here, which you can get on, go down to the bottom level. Uh, this is pretty cool too. So each of the pods that are docked are docked up to the, as you can see, they're docked to this outside here. Uh, and on, on the inside, you've got a bit of glass protecting the, um, protecting you from getting sucked into space while the pod's do undocked. But when the pod docks, um, you can just go press that button and it'll open up the glass and you can access the pod's cargo. Uh, and that's good because then obviously if you, 
overburden your quite ample amount of storage aboard the ship, you might decide, well, I've run out of space here. I'm going to turn off the auto pull and just fill up the cargo pods with cargo. Um, because they do have a reasonable amount of storage in them as well. Not a ton, but enough that if you just need a, just a little bit of extra burden, you can, which is nice. Um, it's got a little uh, room up in the uh, top for you to sleep in, where you can put your little nice little glass table. Uh, there's a reset switch for the dredge uh, more. And little cat walks to get around the place. It's nice and nice and quaint. Um, pretty monotone. Got to put a door there so that you can get an any easy access some of the logic. Um, and yeah, so yeah, this has been the dredge, as I've named it. Uh, I don't know whether that name's fitting anymore since um, I don't know. I don't know. I just I just happen to call all my ships after tools. Like, this is a dredge, I've got a spade, and a sledge, and a hammer, and so on. I might rename it, since uh, I'm going for a bit of a viking motif, or even better, this is part of the faction now, since it's got the color scheme of my faction. And I might name it according to that. So, either way, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I really like to hear from you guys and all your opinions. I will be doing some reviews soon, so if you want to see some of your ships reviewed, please let me know. I will be starting off with some ships on our server. Um, sort of promised my faction that I'll do that. And um, yeah, otherwise, this has been Surge, signing out.